it's Nancy from Nancy's Pampered Kitchen and I wanted to pop on for a couple of minutes just to show you the Rapid Prep Mandolin. I've used it for slicing onions, slicing potatoes and most often quite honestly for slicing making french fries. So this is how you store it. The bottom, the container actually clips to the bottom of this. You just pull this apart a little bit and they come off and inside the we could call it the hopper the food holder you can store the chute for the front as well as the plunger to push the veggies through or fruit whatever you happen to be slicing it's pretty handy to use these the legs just slide out and you'll notice on the bottom there are suction cups to hold it in place so you can actually hear it I want to show you before I actually set it up with this part, I'm going to just close this again. On the back, there are two dials. The one is a setting for slices, french fries, or julienne, and that, that just determines um, which cut the blades will do. And then the bottom dial goes from 0 to 8, and that is the centimeter thickness of whatever cut you choose. So that's what the two dials mean. So what I'm going to do today, right now, I'm going to turn it to the first, whoops, going backwards, I'm looking at the camera. This is the french fry cut here, that's where I'm going, and I went the wrong way, I went to slices, sorry. And I want to turn this all the way around to 8, and you'll see beside the number 8, there is also a french fry picture, which kind of just helps you remember that. You can do shoestring fries, we're not as... Um, we like regular size fries is a little bit better. And the other thing I want you to know is that the, you do not move the food over the blade. The blade moves over the food, so no more cut fingers. So we just slide that down. To open it up, you turn this, and then that's where you can see the blade going up and down. And it goes over the guide. To put this in, you just lift the green, and it clicks in place. I need to kind of be able to see what I'm doing there. It just clicks in place and it's quite substantial. And then I'm going to, to, to lift the plunger. You just twist it and it unlocks. Pretty simple. The food hopper slides under and locks in place and then we're ready to go. Now as I said I'm going to do french fries. So I'm just going to put one potato in. I These are really nice and fresh potatoes. I just washed it up because we don't mind the peelings on the potatoes. If it's not as fresh a potato, then definitely I peel them. And then you just do this. And that's it. Easy as can be. And I'll show you the size of the french fry. So you can see that's a standard nice sized french fry. Now I'm going to push that to the end because I discovered something pretty awesome with this tool yesterday. I'm going to change this now to slices and I kind of like potato chips and I'm going to, sh whoops I went the wrong way, sorry. I'm going to first of all set it for scalp potatoes. So I would probably for scalp potatoes put it at about four May, now I have it at five and I'm going to do a couple like that um, and I set my plunger down whoopsie good grief Nancy there we go now that might be too thick we could that shows you the thickness that's the number four five so now I'm going to turn it down to three so we can compare again personal preference but if you were doing a big tray of scalp potatoes think how easy that would be so that's that thickness and then this thickness and you could even go smaller if you want but now I'm going to make some friend, some potato chips in the air fryer so I'm going to turn it right down to number one and look at this
Look how thin these are. These are absolutely going to be awesome. Let's try it on number two just to see how thick that is. And you might, if you were, depends on what you're doing, you might want that thickness there. That might be a nice, nice thickness for an even cook for potato chips. Now I've got the these are going to be big potato chips, and I make these in the air fryer, just so you know. You can also julienne with the, this, and to do that, you just turn the dial the other way to the smaller cut, and I'm going to turn it over to number six, and I'll pop in a carrot and show you how that works. So I put the carrot in long wise. So that's the number six, so you can julienne, and then you can pop them back in and dice it if you want. So that's a rapid prep mandolin. I'm just going to finish that carrot off. How easy is it to clean? It comes with the dual-ended cleaning brush, so you don't want to put your fingers down there. You, it's actually all dishwasher safe as well. You just pull this off. I'm going to lift the hopper out. So you can see I've got some potatoes ready for fries and some for potato chips. You can push that down a little bit and wipe off the blades with this. And then you'll see that that kind of falls through. Close up the blade. Keep those fingers safe and turn it. And it's all gone, ready to go away. So thanks for joining me for my wee demo of the Rapid Prep Mandolin. Happy French fry making. Oh, and I sliced onions today for a salad just like that. It was delicious. Bye.